My ego is not letting me to speak until I finish the coffee while it's hot. Always I'm finishing and it's cold. Aaudhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Salam qabla kalam Give salam before speaking Salam You okay. want to translate to say assalamu alaikum ya salam invokes Bismu Jalil Salam. Allah Salam. Walillahi Asma Husna Fadu'uhu Biha. To Allah is the most beautiful names. Call on Him by those names. And one of those beautiful names, As Salam. You say, As Salamu Alaikum. Tajali As Salam comes on a meeting. Allah descends his salam. When we sit together like this, we're intending by so many good ways we're intending to make a holy meeting heavenly meeting it's a impossible job we can't make a holy meeting we, they have to make for us a holy meeting if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's acceptance is with us and the uh, care and looking of Prophet him, his intercession وسلم, and the another the care of awliya and malaik and Udama, heavenly servants is not with our meeting, it can't be a holy meeting. Therefore, we're asking all the elements to support us. Il est impossible de faire une rencontre sacrée. Tant et aussi longtemps que nous n'avons pas le support de ceux qui rendent les éléments sacrés, la rencontre sacrée. Alors, nous demandons que nous soit accordé le support divin, le support du prophète sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Le support des Aouliya pour que l'assemblée et la rencontre soient sacrées. And we're asking humbly and helplessly the Imdad, the holy help of our Sheikh, Mahana Sheikh Nazim, Sheikh Hisham, and whole Aouliya, Sheikh Mahmoud, and unseen ones and seen ones, help us. Amen. Et nous demandons le support de ce parmi les saints et les anonymes qui donnent le support, qui nous accordent cela. And if it's too much to ask, even he may send an ant to help us. Et It should be okay for us. <coughs> Il pourrait même nous envoyer une fourmi pour nous aider. Et c'est possible que leur support vienne Yeah. We're in need. Servant is in need. The mm. definition of the servant always going to be in need. <laughs> Fully in need. Needy. And the Lord, fully not in need to anything, fully powerful, we're in need to Him. Et le Seigneur, il n'est dans le besoin d'aucune chose et il est en puissance totale et complète. Et c'est nous qui sommes en besoin de lui. Therefore, asking Medit, we're saying Allah, 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 Allah.
You are our Lord and we are your weak servant. Alhamdulillah. Again, salamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. May Allah give everyone who came out on this night and left other pleasures and enjoyments and rest through their homes and ease to get in their cars or walk or come on buses or train coming here and coming for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah, may He give everyone endless blessings Amen. and take away difficulties and Amen. harms. Allah accorde à tous ceux et celles qui sont venus, quel que soit le moyen, de loin, qui ont laissé les choses et les plaisirs de ce monde pour venir sur cette assemblée, qu'il leur accorde et à tous et à toutes sa miséricorde infinie et qu'il nous enlève toutes les difficultés. Amen. Alhamdulillah, blessings on whoever is able to take care for spiritual things, especially in our time. La bénédiction pour ceux qui sont capables de s'occuper des affaires spirituelles, surtout dans notre temps. Imam Azam, Imam Abu Hanifa, Numan, Allah bless him. Amen. He is a, one of the huge pillars of Islamic religion and spirituality also. They weren't empty scholars only to write rules on a page. They were uh, taking from realities and trying to help people. Imam Abu Hanifa, Allah sanctifie son secret, un des piliers fondamentaux de la nation du prophète sallallahu alayhi wa sallam et de l'islam. Ils n'étaient pas simplement des savants qui transcrivaient leur pensée, mais ils personnifiaient la manifestation de la réalité également. There are scholars, ulama, and every kind of scholars that has knowledge but never practicing it. Il y a beaucoup de savants qui ont la connaissance mais ne l'ont jamais réalisé. Every speaker has to be afraid. Allah will say, why are you do saying and not doing? Chaque personne qui parle doit être en crainte que son Seigneur lui demande pourquoi tu le dis et tu ne le fais pas. We're asking our Lord clean our hearts from hypocrisy, nifak, not to say something and not to do it. Et nous demandons au oh notre Seigneur purifie notre cœur de l'hypocrisie de ne pas dire quelque chose sans la faire. Better to have a small practice but to be continuous to do it than a big library and never to do anything. Il est mieux d'avoir une petite connaissance, une petite pratique et d'être assidu dessus qu'une librairie complète sur laquelle nous ne pratiquons pas. As we said before, in the old days, people, their himma was more than today. Their spiritual uh, enthusiasm, and you can say enthusiasm. Autrefois, les gens... Leur enthousiasme spirituel était beaucoup plus important qu'aujourd'hui. Qu And they used to go, Taifa, groups, groups, Highland, Highland, Jowland, Jowland, Taifa, in groups going, patrolling and visiting Ulama and Aulia. First they went to, first generation went to see Sahaba, to ask them about hadiths, if they heard any, what they heard from Prophet so les gens autrefois, par assemblée, ils se déplaçaient pour aller voir les ulema et les aulia. Et la, la première génération, ils sont allés voir les compagnons en petits groupes pour écouter d'eux ce qu'ils avaient entendu des hadiths du prophète Sarah. Thereafter, the, to taste or to drink what, the reality of what prophet was bringing. So, to taste it really. Ils étaient après la saveur et de goûter cette réalité dont le prophète Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam a parlé. 
de la réaliser véritablement. They went to one of the big Sahabe when he was an old man, after the time of Prophet Sallallahu he was still living. Next generation or generation, Tabi and Tabi and Tabi, the children or the grandchildren of the Sahabas, they went, they found him. Maybe it was Abu Dar or Abu Darda, or I forgot now. Ils sont allés visiter un des derniers compagnons qui était très vieux. Et c'était les deuxième et troisième génération. Ils sont allés le visiter un des derniers vivants pour le questionner. They went to one of the companions, those who actually were with Rasulullah, who sat with him, who accompanied him, to, who experienced him. Un des compagnons, un qui a accompagné le prophète Sarasam. And they were enthusiastic, keen to hear something. Tell us. Oh, Sahabi, companion of Prophet Sallallahu tell us what it was like in the time of Prophet Sallallahu What was it like to be with him? What was it like? Tell, tell us. Et il lui posait la question, « Oh, toi qui as accompagné le messager d'Allah, dis-nous comment c'était de son temps et comment c'était être avec lui. » Many people, they didn't meet Prophet. Many people, they didn't meet the Shaykh. What was it like? This is a meeting for Tariqa Naqshibandi. Many people didn't meet the Shaykh. What was it like to take from him? We have books, we have videos, but it's different than the real thing. Beaucoup de gens n'ont pas rencontré le prophète Sallallahu Et comme aujourd'hui, beaucoup de gens n'ont pas rencontré le Shaykh. Alors comment c'était dans la compagnie du Shaykh également? To see it with Mawana Shaykh Nazim is different. different than to hear about him or to see a... Uh, what's the word when... He, They, they put a video with his uh, composite. There's a word for it, I forgot it. S'asseoir avec Mawlana Sheikh Nazim était différent de lire, de l'écouter ou de le regarder sur un écran. So they said, what was it like in the time of Prophet? And that Sahabi, Allah bless him, Qadda Sallallahu he said, we never can reach their level, he said, Everything we had in the time of Prophet, oh my sons, oh my grandsons, everything is gone now. Et ce compagnon a répondu, oh mes enfants, oh mes petits, mes petits enfants, tout ce que nous avons vécu dans le temps du Prophète sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, il n'en reste plus rien. Only this, the salat is there, the namaz, the prayer. Il ne reste en fait que le rituel de la prière. And even that is different. Than the way we were praying with prophets. Et même cela est différent. The experience is different. The taste is different. De la façon, de l'expérience et du goût que nous avions dans la compagnie du prophète Sallallahu What should we do? Allah gave, alhamdulillah, for the people of the last days a special blessing because we didn't see Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We believed in him without seeing, or we're intending to, or trying to be believers for him. He gave a special rank. And mercy and uh, ruksa, uh, dispensation for people of the last days, because we didn't see prophets. We're not held to the same standard. Le Seigneur des Mondes a facilité pour les gens de la dernière génération, car ils n'ont pas vu le prophète Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Alors, Allah Azza wa Jal leur a fait une dispense par rapport aux critères d'éligibilité. They say if the Sahaba, the people who actually saw him, left even one percent, one tenth of the, what Prophet gave, they're going to be in problems. Il est dit que si les compagnons, ceux qui ont accompagné le Prophète sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, laissaient à l'écart juste un dixième de ce qu'ils ont reçu comme enseignement, ils seraient dans des problèmes. And people of the last times, which is us, if we can do even one per, ten percent, is okay for us. Par contre, pour les gens de la dernière génération, c'est-à-dire nous, si on peut même faire 10%, c'est assez pour être dans le standard acceptable. We're asking to do what we can do and to try to be continuous with it. Nous demandons d'essayer de faire ce que nous pouvons et d'être constant. But we're so weak asking to our Lord. Mais nous sommes faibles. So they went. The next generation, they went to visit Imam Abu Hanifa. Alors, un groupe est allé pour visiter Imam Abu Hanifa. To take from him hadith, teachings of hadith, wisdom and knowledge 
that came after the time of Prophet, what he was taking from the Sahaba and Tabi and Tabi'in. He was a big authority, a big scholar, and they used to visit him to ask about the religion. And they said to him, Oh Imam, can you tell us what are the how do we know when's the last days? How what's the signs? Tell us the signs of the end of time. What's the last days? According to your knowledge. Oh, notre Imam, que peux-tu nous dire des signes des derniers jours? How can we know if we're if we reach to the end of the <laughs> end of the line <laughs> when the train is coming to the station? Comment savoir lorsque nous avons atteint la fin des temps? He said to them, "I don't care." Et il leur a répondu, "Cela je m'en fous, ça ne m'intéresse pas." And he was a majestic figure, and he answered them that straight, "I don't care." Et malgré toute sa stature respectée, il leur a répondu comme cela. Oh, our Imam, your Imam Azam, Azam, you're the big authority. We don't know anything. Tell us, maybe you didn't understand us. What's, we need to know what's the signs of the last days. How can we know if we reached it? Because I don't care. Oh, notre Imam, tu es une grande autorité. Asseyez-nous. Il a répondu, je m'en fous. Third time they repeated it. Oh, Imam, maybe you didn't understand. <laughs> what's the signs of the last days? And he said to them, you didn't understand. I answered you the first time. When you see people saying, I don't care, know that you reach to the end. C'est vous qui n'avez pas compris. Lorsque vous entendez les gens qui disent, je m'en fous, sachez que vous avez atteint le... Vous avez atteint les derniers jours. Lorsque les gens diront, je m'en fous. People are not taking care anymore for spirituality, for realities, they're not interested mostly. Les gens ne sont plus intéressés par la spiritualité et par l'accomplissement. This is a well-attended gathering in yeah. these countries, in America and Canada. This is big. Yeah. C'est une association, une assemblée qui est exceptionnelle dans des terres comme l'Amérique ou le Canada. You can find in any uh, pub or bar or uh, ten times this. Vous pouvez trouver dans chaque uh, dans chaque bar dix fois ces assemblées à chaque coin de rue. On the night of a football game or something, four hundreds and hundreds. Si il y a un bon match de football, alors c'est plein des centaines et des centaines. I'm not talking about the big events in stadiums. Just on an ordinary night in a place this size, packed. Je ne parle pas de, des gros événements, mais juste une nuit régulière, une place de cette taille-là, n'importe où en ville, elles sont pleines. Or people sitting through their houses like this, like this, not caring anything. Et tout le monde s'en fout. So we ask our Lord, we thank Him first of all, that He granted us to be coming to a place like this, to sit for His sake. And grants us the favor to be from those people who are taking care for their spirituality. I didn't create you, oh human beings and jinns. Because might be jinns here also. Might be seen ones and unseen ones. Allah knows. I didn't create any of you except for me, for my service. Ubudia. Allah Azza wa Shal dit dans le Saint Coran Je n'ai pas créé les humains, les djinns et les humains, excepté pour m'adorer. And he's not such a one, Allah Almighty, so one of the Lord. That he needs our service. It doesn't give him anything. Et malgré cela, il n'est pas celui qui a besoin du service des humains ou de leur adoration. It benefits the one doing, 
He bought it. Le bénéfice, c'est pour celui qui adore ou qui sert. Sayyidina Muhammad, Sayyidina Muhammad. He doesn't need our doings, but we need from him. And many ulama and awliya and those who reach to realities said that ubudiya, that Allah said, I created you only for that, it means to know about him. Beaucoup de ulama et de awliya ont traduit cela, leur ubudiya dans ce verset, comme connaître à propos d'Allah. They asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa What's the best work? Tijara, sugar, shurabai, shugul, shurabai, work. What's the best work for a human being? Ils ont demandé au prophète sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, quel est le meilleur travail pour un être humain? The best job. What's the best occupation for a person? <coughs> And he answered them, Marifatullah. To know about Allah, subhanallah. Et il a... Il leur a répondu, Marifatullah. He said, <laughs> la connaissance du Seigneur. He indicated for us to exert ourselves as much as we can for that. Donc, to il, know about Him. Il nous a indiqué de s'exercer et de travailler dur de, autant qu'on peut pour atteindre ce but, de le connaître. To journey up to China, he said, means to the end of the world, trying to get that knowledge. Même si vous devez voyager jusqu'en Chine. And there is a hadith, man arafu nafsuhu, man arafu rabbuhu. Hadith Qudsi. Il y a un hadith Qudsi qui dit, celui qui se connaît, alors il connaît son Seigneur. Who knows himself knows his Lord, or herself knows her Lord. It means... There is a journey to be made inside ourselves. When you know about yourself, Allah show you the signs outside you and inside you. There's a journey inside to be made also. To know about ourselves. To know about Allah. Alors cela veut dire qu'il y a une quête, il y a un voyage qui doit être fait également à l'intérieur de nous pour apprendre à se connaître. Et alors le Seigneur nous accorde la connaissance interne et celle de tout ce qui nous entoure. People are not caring about that now. Personne ne s'intéresse à cela aujourd'hui. They are making every uh, uh, knowledge. What's target in Arabic? Raya. 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 No. Every target of their works to be things relating to our physical uh, life. Les humains aujourd'hui font de toutes les cibles de leur travail des choses qui sont reliées à notre physicalité. How we can improve our situation, how we can build, how we can acquire, how we can marry, how we can do, how we can enrich. Everything, all the knowledge relates to that, we're going for it. Comment bâtir, comment accomplir, comment avoir, c'est cela qui nous intéresse et c'est dans cela que nous travaillons. And all, all of us is in this, all of our Um, uh, anxiety and problems is to do with matters relating to our physical life. The speaker has to blame himself first of all. Where are my money, my credit cards, my car, my house, my children, my job, my this, my that, not sleeping at night. Et c'est comme cela, et ma voiture, et mes enfants, et ma maison, et mon travail, au point que les gens n'en dorment plus la nuit. I don't think very many people are saying, another day passed and I didn't learn anything new about my Lord, I didn't progress to know about my Lord. Je ne pense pas qu'il y a beaucoup de gens aujourd'hui qui disent, mais encore une journée s'est écoulée, et je n'ai pas appris beaucoup à propos de mon Seigneur. We waste our chances. Mm -hmm. Et nous nos chances. I said it before here. When I was a boy, there was a movie for kids on TV. Uh, it was a, children were the characters. Some boys found Aladdin's lamp in a garbage 
pile. You know, you, you rub the lamp and the genie comes out to grant you three wishes. The genie. And they found an old lamp and he began to... And he said, I wish, I wish, I wish I had a watermelon. Somebody gave me water, watermelon pills there. And his friend said to him, Are you crazy? Are you stupid? Are you an idiot? Why are you wasting that wish on a watermelon? Wish for something big. Et alors ses amis lui ont dit, mais tu es stupide que tu dépenses un tel vœu sur une pastèque. Demande pour quelque chose de grand. And he thought, he didn't have a beer, but he was thinking. And he began to rub the lamp again. I wish, I wish I had a big watermelon. Et il demande, je voudrais avoir une immense pastèque. Like that, we wasted our chances. We wait. All of us guilty. We're asking the uh, riot. There's a famous ancient book before Riot al Hakam, the targets of wisdom. What you're going to go for if you have wisdom? Who's been given wisdom has been given an endless benefit. Chayron Kazir say, says Koran. Si and he was Koran. De la sagesse, véritablement, alors quelles sont les cibles que nous allons nous to know, imposer? To know where to put your targets. This is a big job. May Allah get, make us all to understand. Yeah, I mean. He made us to be his Khalifatullah, his Allah. deputies. Amen. To be dressed with his beautiful names and attributes and realities, and each one of us is different in our spirituality. Our egos, Sheikh used to say, all identical twins. Therefore, the Sheikh can treat the sicknesses of the ego because all coming with the same sicknesses. If everyone's body was completely different, one has three hearts, one has five hearts, one has two kidneys, one has six heads, the doctor doesn't know what to do. Everyone different. Like that, he said, every ego is the identical twin of the other ego. Therefore, the doctors of ego, of spiritual training, are able to train and treat the sicknesses of the ones who come to them, to prepare them for, for, to get up, to Alors, improve. The médecins de la spiritualité, des maladies de l'ego, savent comment les entraîner pour que les individus se sentent libères et se lèvent. I don't want to make a long talk, but you put today on the, one of the chat groups a nice, nice talk from Alana Sheikh Nazim you gave years ago. There is, there is a hadith. Sayyidina Musa asked the same question to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Prophet did. What's the best work? Oh my Lord, what's the best thing you like from us human beings that we can be busy with? What's the best thing you like to see from us? Narration à propos to de Sayyidina Moussa alayhi salam qui a posé la question à son Seigneur Oh mon Seigneur, quelle est la chose qui te fait le plus plaisir de l'œuvre de ton serviteur He said, Oh Moussa, I'm most happy with my servants when they look after their own uh, matters. Everyone tends to their own business. Ya Moussa, je suis le plus satisfait de mon serviteur lorsqu'il s'occupe de ses propres affaires. One of the base, basic problems of the ego, basic diseases needs treating, malayani. Un des, un des problèmes primaires de l'ego, 
Tu dois être guéri, to enter into what doesn't concern you. To be busy with other than your uh, spirituality, yourself, your self-improvement. There's a hadith. The Prophet said, وسلم, the honor of a shepherd is with his flock of sheep or goats or whatever. That gives him honor. The mother with her children, the teacher with her class or his class, the businessman with his business, the cab driver with his cab, the president with his presidency, everybody with their, see, they are dressed with honor if they mind their own affairs, take, attend to their own business. D'un enseignant avec ses étudiants. Chacun a la lui accorder un honneur sur ce qui est sous son autorité. Et when they involve in what doesn't concern them, that honor is stripped off. Et lorsqu'il happened to our grandmother and grandfather in the garden, took their clothing out. Lorsqu'il s'occupe de ce qui ne les concerne pas, alors ce vêtement d'honneur, il est simplement déchiré et il devrait enlevé, comme c'est arrivé. Pour notre, notre père et notre mère, c'est Ibn Adam et Ibn Awa au paradis. Especially, he was saying, for politics. Et il disait particulièrement en politique. If a person leaves their home and goes into the street shouting and riot, their honor is taken away from. Si une personne quitte sa maison, il va pour lever la voix et porter la parole dans la rue pour des histoires de politique, alors le vêtement de l'honneur est They fall into danger. They fall into danger. The prophet said the one sitting is better off than the one standing up. The one standing up is still safer than the one who's walking. The one, he's still safer than the one running into it. Comme le prophète sallam a dit, celui qui est assis est beaucoup plus en sécurité que celui qui est debout. Lui, il est plus en sécurité que celui qui marche. Et lui, il est plus en sécurité que celui qui court. These are the last days. The signs of the last days appeared. It's dangerous time. And the prophet said, when that comes, go to your home. Go to the mosque. Go to your heart. Be busy with yourself. Don't involve in fitna, in, pro in those things. You be, if you look into it, you'll be dragged into it. You'll be part of it before you know it. Les signes des derniers jours sont apparus, et le prophète sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a dit, quand vous êtes dans ce temps-là, allez dans vos demeures, allez dans votre cœur, allez dans vos chambres, allez dans les mosquées, et ne soyez pas occupés avec ces choses externes, sinon vous serez euh, aspiré à l'intérieur. It's, it's difficult. I'm as guilty as anyone else. You turn on different websites, and pretty soon you're boiling with anger, you want to go out and do something. Et nous avons tout cela, nous regardons nos gadgets et nous regardons les nouvelles. Tout de suite, notre tempérament euh, se met à bouillir et on veut aussi sortir pour aller s'exprimer et protester. Everything is in Holy Quran. If we knew how to find it, everything is going to be there. Tout est dans le Saint Coran. Si nous savons comment le trouver, nous le trouvons. There's an ayat in, in Surah Maryam, near the end of the Surah. Something like not, you know, or is Professor Hassan? You know that ayat. So say it slowly so people can hear it. Alam Taro. Say it slowly so they can all hear it. Amen. Allah says, haven't you seen how we set the shay shayateens mm -hmm. against the unbelievers? And uh, unbelievers doesn't mean unbelievers here. It means those who are not aware to protect themselves, to cover. In the kafir means to cover originally. Who they didn't uh, take their caution. They didn't care, as Imam Azam said. Et le, le Saint-Coran, Allah révèle, n'avez-vous pas vu comment nous avons mis 
des diables à courir après euh, This is the les, point. les oh, couffards. Et il dit là-dedans, le kafir n'est pas simplement celui qui ne croit pas, c'est celui dont la, la conscience est couverte. Et il n'est pas, pas conscient. This is the point Moana Sheikh wants to get to, I think, inshallah. We went around the block when it coming to. He would start us off but some time from one so it's finally we came to the point. When a person stops taking care what's around him or her, Shaitan and his deputies, his volunteers, is watching us from where we can't see him. If they see a person dropping their defenses quickly rushing in to uh, to Azan like in the cartoon with the pitchfork to make us boil with anger for something that's why anger is equal to kufr lorsque le serviteur alors baisse ses barrières et il s'en fout de tout et il n'a plus cet état de conscience, alors tout de suite, Shaitan arrive sur lui, sachant qu'il est en perdition. We forget to take our precautions, and quickly we begin to fight. Anger boils up. He said something to me, I say something, we forgot our Lord, and we begin to fight. And Shaitan <laughs> left. Nous oublions de prendre nos précautions. Husband and wife fighting, children fighting, everyone fighting everybody. Nous perdons notre conscience et tout de suite on rentre dans des argumentations et on oublie qu'on est sous le regard de notre Seigneur. Thank you. To boil with that ghadab. Allahumma tahirna min ghadab nasana. Bi barakat bi tajalil ismu karim. Ya halim. Anta halim. Anta halim. All speakers take notice of this every day. To face Qibla after midnight and say, Ya Rabbi, Tahir Namin al Nasani. Take away the anger of my ego. Make me aware. Oh, serviteur, après que. Ya Halim, 100 times, Ya Halim, Ya Halim. It's a simple thing, do it. Enlève-moi la colère de mon ego en disant 100 fois Ya Halim. And Ya Hafiz, 100 times, and Salah Nabi, 100 times. And 100 Ya Hafiz, and 100 Salawat. I would have become in fitna in dunya wa azab al-akhira. Amen. For me protege de la fitna, de la dunya, de la corruption, de la dunya, and de la punition. Save me from fitna and troubles and arguing in dunya, leading to punishment in akhira. Ya Hafiz, 100 times Ya Hafiz, and seal it with Allah Masari Ya Sayyidina Muhammad. For his sake, be loved for all our Lord. Make for us a protection. Ya Amin. There is not, there are ulama, big ulama at Azhar and Say there is not any more that military jihad in Islam. Le grand ulama nous rappelle qu'il n'y a plus de de jihad combatif militaire en Islam aujourd'hui. We don't have the conditions for it anymore. It's a government operation, a government power. Every government has the right, reserves the right to make war and how they're going to do it. It's a government, not for the individual. C'est sous l'autorité des gouvernements, c'est eux qui gèrent cela. But they're still fighting. There's ayats for fighting. They haven't been taken away. Fight what? Who? We have to fight. Say, Muslims are always fighting. Yes, but who? What we have to fight? Mais il y a encore le combat, car les versets sur le combat ont été descendus. Mais que devons-nous combattre? Well, Sheikh Nazim said to us. Before you can take any enemy outside yourself, you know, have four enemies inside yourself, you have to fight those enemies. Mawlana Sheikh Mazim nous disait, avant de se tourner et combattre n'importe quel ennemi extérieur, il y en a quatre à l'intérieur qu'il faut combattre et défaire d'abord. No one likes to fight. What do you not like? First one, ego. Nafis. Le premier, l'ego. Prophet said, I'm afraid of the, for my nation, the wild animal lives inside the human chest. 
Take his Hold his reins. Hold the reins of your horse. Don't leave him to run as he likes. Second one we just spoke about, Shaitan. In the Shaitan Lakum Aduum for Takin Hu Adua, your enemy. Why we're going to fight this one or this one or this one, and our biggest enemy is still having his way with us. The deuxième Shaitan, the Quran nous rappelle qu'il nous a pris comme ennemi, il faut le prendre comme ennemi. Pourquoi est-ce que nous combattons les uns les autres et nous oublions celui-là? He used to say, go visit the hospital, visit the prisons. You find somebody, Shaitan got the better of them. In one second, they did something from anger. All the rest of their life, they're going to pay for it. They spoiled their life, they spoiled their children, they spoiled their everything, their future. One moment Shaitan got his way and ruined everything. And then our desires and uh, and love of dunya, only loving this world that's going to pass away, fighting for it, fighting for every square inch. Et notre désir insatiable pour ce monde et la matérialité. It's getting long. I'll finish with a story for Jesus Christ, because we had uh, Satan and Muhammad. So then we had Musa. Now we left Satan and Isa. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Satan and Isa, alayhi salam. We have to believe he's coming back to make a golden age on earth. We hope to see him yeah, and be with him. He spent his life wandering, walking. Going here, going there, going here, going to see people, and so people would see him. Just to see a prophet made you to go, made people to go into faith, to become believe. Just to see them. Il a passé sa vie à marcher et à se promener sur la terre pour rencontrer les gens, parce que pour beaucoup de gens, juste avoir un prophète c'était assez pour les amener dans le, le royaume de la foi. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala supported him with. Uh, Mujiza, miraculous power. <laughs> Prophets had miracles. One of them, he could make the dead to come alive again. He was going one day with his uh, Hawariyin, his uh, uh, disciples. And they passed a a field, a field where farmers are growing their crops. They passed a field, and in that they could hear two men fighting in that field, arguing with each other. They were arguing over the boundary between one man's field and the other man's field. Le champ, parce que c'était deux voisins qui avaient des champs. Hey, see, this is my boundary. You put your line too far here. No, this is mine. This is mine. No, this is mine. They were fighting. Which belonged to which? They saw Sayyidina Isa. Et ils virent alors Sayyidina Isa. Oh, Allah. Who Allah supported with His Holy Spirit? Can you solve our quarrel? Oh, Esprit d'Allah, peux tu résoudre notre problème? Yeah. And he said, "What's your quarrel?" He said, "This is my land," and my neighbor is saying, "No, this belongs to him." And the other is saying, "How are you telling him like that? This is my land, and belongs." And they begin to fight again. They're shouting at each other.
Et ils étaient en train de... In front of Zayn Issa. Devant Zayn Issa, de répéter la même chose. C'est à moi, non, c'est à moi. Or the Quran says, we test you to see who will lower their voice in the presence of Prophet so, And they're fighting, screaming at each other. Et le Saint-Coran nous rappelle, nous vous avons mis à l'épreuve pour savoir celui qui garderait la voix basse dans la présence du Prophète Sarasim. And Sayyidina Isa looked at them and by the order of Allah Almighty, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and by the power he was given, he recited what... Every prophet had a he code, the small azam, greatest name, Abu Hayyazam, for instance, who make the dead the bones to come to life again. He recited what he was given to recite, and all of a sudden, up from the ground come one. They have zombies now, movie with the zombie. Up from the grave come one zombie, saying, this is my land. He died there, they buried him, and now he's coming up, saying, this is mine. And then another one coming up. This is mine from even before him. And then another one. The field was filled with zombies who passed away 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 50 years ago, 100, 500 years ago, all saying, This is my land. Alors, des pouvoirs que son Seigneur lui a donné, il frappa la terre et récita. Et là sortir les uns après les autres des hommes, euh, tels des zombies qui étaient en train de clamer, Ceci est ma terre, non, ceci est ma terre, non, ceci est ma terre, qui avaient les mêmes requêtes que les deux qui se battaient. Masha'Allah. This world doesn't belong to you, doesn't belong to me. It's a temporary place. We're passing through only. Ce monde ne nous appartient pas. Il n'est qu'une place temporaire par laquelle nous passons. Sheikh Hisham, Allah bless you. Amen. He said, don't fight for the chair, turn off the chair. <laughs> Leave it. What you want to do? Ne vous battez pas pour la chaise. They want the chair, take the chair. la Celui qui la demande, donnez la vie. May Allah forgive us. Amen. May Allah forgive us. I hope there is something useful in uh, what we said tonight. It's a story without a beginning, without an ending. You come in anywhere. One person said to me, wisdom is like a loaf of bread. Anywhere you take a piece, it's bread. Anywhere on the loaf you pull a piece, it's bread. So it's from anywhere you take, it's something. You could, I hope it's something we can use it and benefit from it, inshallah. To, yeah, me. And try to think about it. If you can find something you can keep, keep it and use it, inshallah. And to our